So neuroanatomy is the study of the structure of the nervous system. And in this course, we'll focus on the human brain and spinal cord and how the structure underlies key functions like sensation and movement and memories. And we'll look at how that can go wrong in illness and injury. For some medical disciplines, understanding brain structure is absolutely essential, such as neurosurgery or neurology or psychiatry. But it's actually helpful and important in general practice if you want to look for subtle signs in your patients of neurological dysfunction. We'll start with the very basic organization of the brain and how to visualize it microscopically and macroscopically. And then we'll work through the important neural systems of function, including the different sensors, the control of movement, emotion, and cognition. And we'll think about how we can apply our knowledge in terms of understanding the clinical relevance of neuroanatomy in everyday clinical practice. Amongst medical students and even qualified doctors, there's a well-documented phenomenon called neurophobia or fear of neurosciences, including neuroanatomy. And this can lead to a lack of confidence in applying neuroanatomy to clinical practice. So the goal of this course is to not only provide the core neuroanatomical knowledge, but also offer opportunities for that to be applied to clinical scenarios.